Hello and welcome to The Pitch, brought to you by Livewire Markets. I'm Ali Selby and today we're very lucky to be joined by Schroeder's Head of Private Assets, Claire Smith, for insights into where she's seeing quite a lot of opportunity today. Thank you so much for joining us today, Claire. Thanks, Ali. The public equities team is actually steering away from this sector, which is tech, but you're embracing it with open arms. What's the difference between tech companies in private markets versus public markets? So. I'd say the opportunity set is just much bigger in private markets. You know, you think about listed companies and say you look at the US and obviously the MAG7 is dominating. But where we see opportunity is particularly say you look at a market like Europe. So during 2020, 2021, the US market particularly, you know, the prices went, tech prices went up quite significantly. Whereas in Europe, we didn't see that same level of price increase. So we find in private markets, you've just got a much broader opportunity set. You can still buy into say founder-led or family-owned businesses at attractive prices and help grow those businesses. So we in, in private equity much prefer that smaller end of the market, where as I said, bigger opportunity set and you can still find companies that are attractively priced. What are some of the factors that you typically look out for when investing in those tech businesses? Yeah, so particularly in the current market dynamics, we really want mission critical technology companies. We want high recurring revenues. We want companies that reduce reliance on labor costs. So say accounting softwares, cybersecurity softwares, things that people need in order to run their business and that somewhat reduce reliance on labor costs. And we want companies that have low levels of leverage um, and ideally don't need a lot of CapEx spending over the coming years. What kind of innovations are you seeing within those companies? And do you believe they could become the next great growth companies in the world? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, through our venture capital program, we have investments in three of the top four AI companies in the world. Oh, wow. And we have a history. So one of our recent successful exits was Snowflake, which was the biggest, obviously, software IPO in the market. Similarly, we've made a recent investment into a company called Scale AI. And what they do is they map terrain for driverless vehicles. So we're seeing loads of innovation in the private part of the market and particularly even having that insights into AI when we're investing in say other tech companies, we can either make connections in, to introduce services or even just sense check if you know everyone's saying AI is gonna revolutionize their business, cut costs or what it may be. But our insights into those AI companies help us really sense check that when we're doing due diligence on new investments. Are there any other sectors where you're seeing those tech innovations take place that aren't in the tech sector per se? So yeah, in, in healthcare, for example, we have an investment in a healthcare company that's using AI to help increase first time diagnostics of um, patients. And they've actually increased the first time correct diagnoses from 30 to 70% in their initial trials. So yeah, AI is absolutely gonna become prevalent, I think, through different companies and sectors. Well, thank you so much for your time today. It was awesome to feature you on the pitch. Yeah, thanks, Sally. If you enjoyed that too, don't forget to subscribe to Livewire's YouTube channel. We're adding so much great content just like this every single week.